What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a little trick about how you can sync multiple Microsoft Teams environments together. So there are certain times when you have so many teams or multiple teams or maybe you've archived a team and you but you still want to make sure that you can access those documents and you want to do it all in one team environment. Maybe it's a parent team, maybe it's just the an environment that you're in more than you're in the others. And I don't know, there's multiple reasons why you might want to do this. I'll go over one use case uh, right after this. Alrighty, so we are going to sync two Teams libraries together. And so first off, I'm going to start in the web browser to show you uh, a few things about uh, using the Microsoft Teams environment in the web, because I will say that this is a function and feature that is not available in the web, but I wanted to show you a few things starting in, in the web first. So I'll go ahead and blow that screen up. And now here in Microsoft Teams, there's a few different things that you can do, right? So I have a couple of teams hidden here, as you can see. And so the way that I did that, if you're in multiple teams, I've seen some organizations have as many as 90 teams, which is, is ridiculous. If you're a part of 90 teams, you're, you're doing something wrong. Um, or maybe they're just old teams and you wanted to archive them, right? And so you want to get them out of your way. And so the way that I did that was through this, this Mark 8 project team. Let's, I can show it. And so now it is back. So I'm going to go ahead and show all of these. Notice I'm hitting the three dots and show. And so I'm going to unpin all of these and we'll go through it together. But this Mark 8 project team, let's say that it's archived now. You no longer need this. You want to hang on to it for archival purposes. Maybe you have to maintain information for a certain number of years. And you hit these three dots. And then you're going to go ahead and hit hide. So that pushes it out of the way down here into this hidden team. I'm going to do the same for SOC, and I'm going to do the same for remote living because get those out of my way. Digital initiative, public relations, no thank you. I only care about sales, design, marketing, and communications. So I can click this little hidden team guy right here. That collapses it, and now my environment's a little cleaner, so that's good to know. Maybe I care, so I have Contoso here at the top. Maybe, though, I really care about sales and marketing the most, so I can I can click and I can drag it to the top and now it is actually my top um, team. And so I have that here at the top, but, but maybe I really, really care only about um, general folder within sales and marketing. And I can pin that to the top and now that channel is pinned to the top of my Microsoft Teams environment. Note that I couldn't, I can't pin the entire team. So I have to pin a specific channel. You, if, you, if you want the entire team to be towards the top, you're going to have to, to click and drag. So now, if let's say that I wanted that project that we minimized before, this Mark 8 project team, let's say that I, want, I still want to have it around and I want to be able to utilize it here in sales and marketing. Well, there is a way that you can do that, but you have to do it in the Microsoft Teams for the desktop. You cannot do it for... Uh, in the web. So what I'm going to do is as I'm, a I'm actually going to stop sc sharing my screen and I'm going to reshare the desktop now uh, so that you guys can see my uh, my entire screen against my better judgment. I'm going to share my my whole my whole kit and caboodle. And so I had the Microsoft Teams application up now. Now, notice everything else has synced here, right? Everything that I did in the web is still here. The hidden teams are still the hidden teams that I hid on the web, so that's good. Uh, it still has my general pinned up here at the top. Sales and marketing is still my top team. So it looks like everything has come over, which, which is great. That's, ex that's exactly what I wanted. So now what I want to do is I want to add this project, this Mark 8 project. I want to add it to my documents here in sales and marketing because I want to I want to uh, make it a um, a pin you know I want to go back to it I want to archive I want to make sure that I can I can access it so what you're going to do is you're going to go into documents in general and then you're going to go into add cloud storage so we're going to click on add cloud storage I'm going to choose SharePoint and then here I can find the mark 8 project team there it is 
right? If you wanted to use a SharePoint link, you could do that as well. If it, But I'm gonna use the Mark 8 project team. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna choose the document folder. I'm gonna hit next. Uh, it looks good to me, and I'm going to add that folder. So now I can actually utilize the entire sales and within sales and marketing, I can entire I can utilize the entire Mark 8 project team. So I could go in here and hit that, and then there are all the Mark 8 documents within the sales and marketing team, and I can open up in SharePoint, and it should be here uh, as well. So. And I could open it up in SharePoint and it, it should be there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing and I'm going to go back into the web and show you that everything that I had done now in the desktop application actually went over into the web application. So it, it's going to be available for you no matter, no matter what. So I'm going to go ahead and share back, share my screen, open up that browser. There it is, there's my browser. We're gonna blow it up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go into the general sales and marketing. We're gonna go into the general channel and then there's the market. Now I was wrong, believe it or not, <laughs> that you can add the cloud storage in the web browser. So I, I don't know, I guess you know what it is. If you click on this documents at the top level, this is where you can't do it. Mm, interesting. So you have to do it in a in a specific channel. So that's where you have to do it in the cloud storage. So you have to go into the channel, then you have to add the cloud storage. I never, you know, I never noticed that it was actually there uh, in the web. I always just, I guess, I just always went to the top level, and since it wasn't there, just kind of assumed it wasn't there. But I've used this a ton in linking multiple teams together. I use it a lot, like I just showed you. I, so we use Microsoft Teams to go after different proposals for, for the government, or if you guys are going after big proposals or uh, within your organization, and you wanna make sure that you are uh, tracking these proposals, uh, so you're using Microsoft Teams. And then once that proposal is over and you submitted, maybe you wanna still hang on to those documents, but you don't necessarily need the team anymore. So what we do is we, link these environments together and so you have a list of all of the different proposals that you've gone after you maintain the chat history but it's still archived in a way that it's hidden um, you're no longer using it and then after a while you can transfer the documents out if you're like you know what it's been a couple of years or whatever we no longer really have a need for keeping everything but we do want to migrate the documents over that's when you can take the documents you can migrate them in uh, to like sort of a, an archival team or uh, something along the lines and then hold them there. But for the meantime, if you do have a reason to hold on to that information, I do think that it's a good idea to link these uh, together using, again, this add cloud storage. Now, if it's not a SharePoint, there are additional options. So you can add a Dropbox here. You can add Box. Ignite is a uh, is a pretty popular one that people use. Sharefile uh, by Citrix, and then Google Drive. If you guys are a big Google people, or maybe you have a personal Google that you want to link, you can add your Google Drive here uh, as well, which is pretty cool. So let me, let's just choose one of these. Let's choose Dropbox. And then it's just, there it is. It's going to ask you to sign into your Dropbox. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, and then it's going to bring you and tell you exactly which folder and you want to choose within your Dropbox. It would do the same thing for Google Drive. You're going to sign in. And then you would choose what it is that you want, which folder that you'd want. And then it would sync it in. I'm not going to do that. I don't have a reason to sync in any of that information, but it is possible. So definitely something to keep in mind. It's pretty cool. And let's see. Now that we've synced it here in Teams, do you think it's synced to SharePoint? I wonder, no, it did not. So that is interesting to note. Notice that it only synced to Microsoft Teams. So if I go into the documents, I go into general, nothing is there. But if I go to documents here and I go into the general channel, it is there. So this is how you're syncing Teams together, not SharePoint. Uh, if you wanted to sync SharePoint to a, a specific location, that's where you do the sync and you're going to sync it to your OneDrive and that's how you would sync locations together. But important to note, 
you're syncing Teams together, Microsoft Teams, not SharePoint location. So guys, hopefully you got a lot out of this. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, please hit them in the comments below. I'm going to try to do these more frequently. We're setting up actually a studio so that uh, you, you can uh, get rid of my headset and I'll have back, get back to my podcasting mic and we'll have a fun thing standing behind me and whatever. I don't know. It's going to be uh, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, if you will. But we're going to continue to push these out. And if you guys have any questions, you hit us up, support at capitalpresence.com. Or if you want to just drop in in the comments here below give us a like give us a subscribe and guys like i said thanks for hanging out uh and until next time we will uh we will see you